So um, I applied for petrochemical engineering. Um, with me, the number of classes wasn't so high. It was at 1.5. Ooh, when she got in. Go, Kim. I I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> Welcome back to La Deutsche Vita, life in Germany, made in Germany, with Kim and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you know Kim from the previous video from last week. <laughs> we did the Ghana versus Germany tag. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to put the, the link right here somewhere so you go and check it out. And this week, what are we talking about, Kim? We are comparing uh, the Guinean and German educational system. Yes. Yes. So, as you may know, I have been through the German education system. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the university for law, and Kim is? I, I mean, I have been through uh, the Guinean educational system and some of the German educational system. I am currently still in uni studying petrochemical engineering. That sounds so big. Uh, petrochemical. Why, why did I do that to myself? I <laughs> regrets. Well, they found oil in Ghana. Why was Exactly. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Always go where the money is. So, let's talk about the application process. Uh -huh. Because you finished high school in Ghana yeah. and then you applied to Germany for your schooling. Exactly. So, how was the application process for you? Um, so for me, because um, I mean a bit, a bit a bit of background, I did primary school in Germany, so I knew some German already. Okay. I could speak German fluently, mm -hmm. so I didn't have to do German courses, but I still had to uh, write the German exam. Okay. Yes. The entry to prove that you can speak German. To prove the that proficiency. Can, yeah, German to prove my German proficiency. I had to write um, B one at the time. Mm, okay. Um, not to apply for uni, but to apply for the student colleague. Okay. Because um, the Ghanaian high school certificate is not recognized in Germany. It's oh, that's, not. That's yeah. serious, yeah. To get into uni, you need to do a year at the student colleague where they test your knowledge on some subjects and they teach you in the German language and also teach you German to the C1 level. Okay. Yeah, and after that you have to write an exam, which is um, equivalent to the German Abitur. Okay. And with that certificate you apply for uni. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So with that, after passing that exam, after doing that whole year, I applied. Um, of course there are courses that are with numerous clauses, that mm -hmm. means you need to have a certain um, grade, grade, average grade, average yeah. grade to get in. But there are many courses where you do not need that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you like, you have to be a bit smart with your choice. Mm -hmm. If you've got a grade above one point two or whatever, you can't be applying for medicine or like other, you know, yeah. courses of such. So um, I applied for petrochemical engineering. Um, with me, the number of classes wasn't so high. It was at one point five. Ooh, when she got in, go Kim. I I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> Beauty with brains, okay. <laughs> wow, that's what's the challenge for that. And um, prior to studying in Stuttgart, I had tried other courses, other universities. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted at the time, what yeah. I wanted to study. I went to med school for some time. Wow, I did environmental engineering for some time, and then at some point, I ended up here. But I'm almost done with this, so hallelujah. Yeah, that, it, it is for you, then. But that's I guess, I guess at the point I was like, nah, like, you know, you, you're getting older, like, do finish anything. It. At this yeah. point, like, finish, finish something. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, application mm -hmm. went through. Did you have to contact the student service or anything? Yeah. Um, for the student colleague I went to, I didn't have to apply through uni assist. Okay. Uni Assist um, is a platform for international students. Mm -hmm. um, all international students have to apply through Uni Assist, Assist, be it for a university or a student colleague. Mm -hmm. um, there are fees that you pay, mm -hmm. but it's manageable. Um, you pay 75 euros for your first um, application, and after that, you pay 25 euros. Okay. That was at the time. I'm not so sure What's about changed, now. Yeah. yeah. 
um so you can apply for as many universities or student colleagues they'll tell you what you are qualified for and what mm -hmm. you're not qualified for and they are like the middlemen you mm -hmm. know they take care of everything else you give them the papers and they do the communication with the schools okay but for the 75 years you can apply to a number of universities at a go or no. for, each, for each application 75 is for oh. the first application and after that you oh, okay. pay 75 Every other. for okay. every other exactly okay. There are private uh, universities and private student colleagues uh, mm -hmm. in Germany. The student colleague I went to was private, mm -hmm. so I did not have to apply through uni assist. assist. Okay, yeah. they took care of that as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so that so, was my process. Basically. Yeah, but you were, you were not like a foreign foreign student. You are a German foreign student. I exactly. Yeah, I am so. a German citizen, mm -hmm. but um, they don't care. Oh, okay. They don't care. You still need to prove so long as your certificate is from another country, okay. um, you need to like provide mm -hmm. certain so yeah, things. When it comes to applying for uni, it's only about your credentials, it's not about your nationality. No. It's where your credentials are from. Exactly. If you are a Ghanaian student, if you're a Ghanaian, you have a Ghanaian citizenship, mm -hmm. but you did the German Abitur, the, that's the German high school examination. Mm -hmm. You apply like a German citizen. That's what that was yeah. my case because I did high school here and I had the German abitur, mm -hmm. so I did everything like really smoothly, yeah. basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's that's the one the difference between application coming from outside with your credentials being foreign yeah. and your credentials being German. You really have to put it in mind that you might spend two years. You know gathering what you need to actually enter uni mm -hmm. for me i was lucky i didn't now have to like do the german courses a1 a2 b1 b2 because you have to learn the language mm -hmm. um otherwise it might have taken a bit longer yeah you understand so uh do plan a bit of time you might not start uni immediately you might have to go for german classes mm -hmm. some uh, student colleague or some unis they want to know the number of hours you did in classes Oh, wow. Yeah, so you really have to be very particular mm -hmm. with um, the schools you choose, where you choose to go to. It makes a lot of difference. Yeah, guys, you have it because I didn't even know that. I thought once you're German, but it makes sense that they mm -hmm. concentrate on the credentials yeah. and not the nationality. No, no, not at all. I had Germans, white Germans, with me in the student colleague really? because maybe I don't know their parents were diplomats and mm -hmm. they were in South Africa and the US mm -hmm. and they had to go through the same okay. thing process. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's come to you have gained admission to university. Yeah. You are on campus. Mm -hmm. How do you find your way around? How how did you feel finding your feet in the German system coming from a Ghanaian background now? Okay. Um, so another thing is so the student colleague kind of prepares you as well. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they kind of groom you, mm -hmm. let you know what to expect in the university. Mm -hmm. Um, but um like every other course, there's always an orientation week. I think the first month was really dedicated orientation. Yeah, for orientation, taking you all over the place. And if you want, you can apply to have a mentor. Mm -hmm. That's like really for... Yeah, my mentor never showed up. <laughs> no? <laughs> I mailed this person. I don't even know if it was a man or a woman. I don't remember the name anymore. Okay, I, wow. mailed, I mailed them and nothing. Mm -hmm. I thought fish one thing. And that's course. unfortunate. Because <laughs> I, I wanted a mentor mm -hmm. to at least show me around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it never came. Well, if that does not happen, <laughs> <laughs> you do have uh, someone to show you around, um, go with you to the cafeteria, to the library, everything. Um, yeah. And show you friends. Show you friends. And all the, you know, parties and there are a lot of events just to network and mm -hmm. you know get to know the people you're in the course with i would advise that you go for those events i decided not to because i thought i was too cool for the crowd <laughs> um <laughs> it backfired <laughs> but you know why i didn't go why? i was like Oh, it would be boring. Yeah. Well, maybe it's, it's, the, same it's the same thing. thing. I just worded it differently. And yeah, but and that's one thing. It would be boring. And I lived far away from mm -hmm. campus. So if I should go on a Friday, then how do I get home? Yeah, true. You know? True, yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't go because I was like, it's going to be so boring. And like, I could tell, I mean, you, these are engineering students and like, 
we were like maybe three, four girls in the course. Wow, okay. And it's like, uh, what are we gonna do? And I don't wanna be here, mm -hmm. you know? So I didn't go. Um, it made it harder for me to actually like not even make friends but like you know have people to even study with mm. or like you know ask questions yeah so just just go through it it's fun i guess i didn't go so <laughs> yeah for me i was i was similar the only thing i did was the library mm -hmm. course i i took that to heart for some reason because maybe mm -hmm. i love to read yeah. but I, well, the library one i i did go for the mm -hmm. library event but the after school and the faculties um no. no. <laughs> you should though, because that's where you make the first friends. Exactly, exactly. And it's really that way. Mostly the first people that you befriend become the people that you end up doing the whole course with. You yes, know, those yes. those are the people who end up being in your corner. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now after orientation. Yeah. Lectures. Yeah. How were lectures for you? <sighs> um <laughs> It was fine. Mm -hmm. I think um, for some courses, because they went compulsory, like literally mm -hmm. almost no one showed up. Like you could really be there, and it felt like a personal experience with the lecturer. Cause, and then you're like, so like, so what is it? What's different? Like, why must I come? Show up. It's important. Yeah. Show up. It's important. Um, do not look at the numbers. Even if you show up and you do not understand anything, at least you know what you should learn. You yeah. know what you should practice. Mm. Deadlines. Sometimes the lecturers like pay attention to this part. This will come in the exam. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't understand, like write those things down and plan for a later date. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get your stuff together and write your exam and pass and have it done and over with. Mm -hmm. It's better than not going and then like you're just lost. It's so easy to get lost. Yeah. It's so easy to, to get well, lost. It yeah. goes so fast. It goes so quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were some lectures that were, uh, some sorry, lectures that were compulsory. Mm -hmm. That's when you actually see your course mates because everyone is there. You're like, yeah. wow, so we are this many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Please, very important, show up for those ones. Because yeah. it's not like, sorry, Ghana, where like, you know, sometimes your friend can sign that no. you attended. You really need to they be check. there. They, they check. check the signatures, yeah. yes. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not all courses um, have compulsory mm -hmm. throughout. Mm -hmm. I think yours do, like every semester they ask Many, yeah. many of my courses, yeah, mm -hmm. the attendance was compulsory. compulsory. Yeah. yeah. With law in the beginning, yes, like mm -hmm. when you're going for tutorials and stuff, yes, you have to. But later on, you're on your own, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. You don't have to show up. But as you said, do show up, and some things are necessary for you to hear by for yourself, yeah. by yourself to have that. And also, sometimes it's good to have the one on one with the prof, you know, because yeah. he knows what he means by that, yeah. and it will give you a different. Yeah. perspective to mm -hmm. what you were thinking before mm -hmm. so definitely definitely show up to classes but did you like lectures did, did, were you overwhelmed by the way that things were being taught um i must say honestly i never really learned much during lectures mm -hmm. because it was a lot of math and a lot of you know formula and stuff like that it was more okay so i have to learn this I have okay. to do this. I have to do this. You went there to to help so yourself like, to mm, orient, okay, yeah. self orientation. Yeah, and then like I'd go home, watch mm. some YouTube videos, mm. practice on my own. Um, part of my study program, we had to um do group studies. It was compulsory. Okay. You had to be there. If you are not there, you failed the course. Wow. So that also really helped. You mm -hmm. know, having that exchange with mm -hmm. um course mates by force. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like you 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 can only have a group study when you have friends. Mm -hmm. This one you're gonna have a regular at this so yeah. you don't really have an excuse mm. that also really helped during yeah, the lecture good. sometimes it really went too fast yes they were very smart people mm -hmm. people would ask questions and you're like i don't even know what question i don't even know what the question what is what direction we're going i don't to. understand what is uh, happening and this person's asking and you know that like, they're having a whole conversation and you're like so fast. okay cool <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we have Reggie here today as well, but she 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 claims she's just coming in from the sidelines. Yeah, but I used to me and me me in real life. So I said once I'm in school, I said me really feel most of the things I'm going through on campus. Okay, well she's here. She's here. 
But you'll be hearing her voice, but just know she, she's, she's here. here. <laughs> <Glenn> spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so basically lectures were important as well as extra um, learning programs yeah. too. Yeah. Those were important as well. So take yeah. advantage of that. Don't, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what about exams? Because mm. I remember I would go for lectures and I would do everything that they said. And when I go to, for the exam, I'd be like, ah. So which question was the answer he told me in class? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I would be like, what? Why have you changed everything? How was it for you? It's uh, the exam. It's always nerve wracking, mm. like the exams, because I don't know whether it's the same in Ghana. I never went to uni in Ghana, but the questions it's like applied. It's a, it's applied knowledge that they want from you. Yes. It's no definition. It's nothing that you read in the notes per se. They want you to put it into use. Mm -hmm. So literally, if you do not have a deeper understanding of what you learnt, you're not going to pass the exam and that's just it. Um, also, the fact that for most of my adult life, I studied in English. The technical language was a bit of a problem in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So many times... Um, I'd have to get like books from the library in English for my subject, mm -hmm. read at home, then learn it again in, in German. German, read at home t in English to understand, learn it again in German, mm -hmm. you know, so how I can, you express yourself, how I express it and everything. Um, you really need, you need to know your strength, like if you know the language might be a problem, put it into your timetable that you're really going to allocate extra time to like get a good command of the language because mm -hmm. it is not high school they are demanding a certain level of you know <laughs> they are demanding a certain language, level um, of expression yeah. from you as well and they don't care whether you are foreign or whether you are from germany it needs if they're going to give you a certificate they need to know that you know your stuff mm -hmm. and you can express yourself you the german standard yeah so that was it. With exams, um, also for my course, there were certain papers we had to um, write by a certain time. You know, you can always push forward your exams. Yeah. Um, but for us, there were certain um, papers we had to like write mm -hmm. by maybe your third or fourth semester. You had to have those papers behind mm -hmm. you. I would advise what I did was some papers I really pushed forward mm -hmm. a lot. And then it got to a point where... Um, I had forgotten what I had learnt for those people. You know, you go to lectures, you learn, you understand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you push it forward, and then like, lost you're touch. totally out of it. Mm -hmm. You lose touch, and you now have to go back and remind yourself. It's a waste of time. <laughs> if you can write it to the same get semester, it it, yeah. get it over with, so you can like you know keep with the pace and finish mm -hmm. your study program within your three or four years. You, in Germany, you can study for 10 semesters, no one cares, yeah. you understand? As so you're not employed by a company, yeah. they're paying your... You can business. study, uh, <laughs> you will not finish, mm -hmm. so um, just, just, just get it done. That's, mm -hmm. what you, what, that's what you're there for, that's what you're here for, get it done and over it, mm -hmm. yeah. That's my advice from my personal experience, yeah. yeah.